All right, guys, so it, was, it is Thursday. I'll be going on the plane today. At, uh, I think my flight's at 3 o'clock or 3.30. And I'll tell you guys when I'm on the plane, and I'll see you guys there. I'm gonna box this B Cube shop shoe one that I got from CA. With, I'm, I haven't turned it yet. Do you, you want to do the first turn? No! Ooh, it's better than my chew one. Ooh, this is good. It's kind of slow. It's going to get me back into 2x2. Two two. This is pretty good. I'm going to do French fries I just bought a beginner U M for a chew one, a Vulcan, like something That's else. That's the reality of that. Yeah. How is your? All right, so let's talk about ski. So I didn't record the first solve, which was a six, and my second solve, which was again a six, was upside down. I'm such a nerd. This average was really good. It was actually six point six six. LOL. And the funny thing is later, I feel like I'm cursed because later on most of my cubes, I found random black stuff on them and I had to go to the bathroom and wipe it all up. Yes. So this average was pretty good. I used the X-Men wingy skew, but I didn't do a video unboxing of it, but I did unbox it when I was at the cubicle store, but I really like this cube. All right guys, so just enjoy the rest of the average. And I will be showing my full averages just because I'm not doing any big cubes that take anything longer than a minute. So I think you guys can deal with it. Alright, so I'm gonna be unboxing this X-Men Volt at Nuts. I bought a I got a bunch of cubes. I got like a Ganner UM, I got a wingy skew which I competed in. I got a 6.66 average. LOL. What? Okay, so my friend here, uh, Diego, is gonna do the first turns on this cube. Just say my channel. Uh what's your channel? DT yeah, his DT cubes. Okay, his DT cubes. Alright, yeah, so now we start. Okay. So he's going to do first turns? Is it good? Yeah. Good. It sounds sandy. Um, it's very good. It's really sandy. Yeah, let me try it. Let me Although, try it. Yeah, that you is... just need a little bit, but it's really good. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up. Oh, wow. That, that is very tight um, and stuff. I hope it doesn't get a strip core. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to time lapse putting silk in it and tensioning it.
Okay, so this is so much better. This is like so smooth and nice now. It feels a lot like Caleb's. So yeah. All right, guys. So I just picked up this custom cue from the cubicle. I just bought it. It's a Chew One M. So it was gonna be my um, third Chew One, but I just have another speed hoop shop set up one. And I traded it along with a Yan 3 um, and a Vault on my original Chu Wen for a Ganner UM. So it's getting the first turns. I've never turned this before yet. And it's been like 10 minutes. I've been getting so anxious. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. It's like so quiet. Like, you guys can't even hear it. But can you guys hear this? This is so quiet. Oh, I just found it. I like how when you stop a speeded bounce. I like how you when you stop the speeded Mac, like, oh, when this speed, so this you can definitely feel the magnets. So I got some shades. I got um the shades that come with um, but I got um um sky blue and floral orange. The orange and the red do look really similar on camera. Like they pretty much look exactly the same on camera. But really, um, in real life, it's easy to tell the difference. No, I left my thing here. But when it's scrambled... Do you have my shoe one? And I do not have your shoe one, Caleb. No, but I can't. You can see they look okay, green on the camera? Can't see it? Yeah, there's a shoe one on the table. I know this is mine. Alright, so yeah guys, thanks for watching, thanks for watching, thanks for watching, one more day in that, and through Red 3 today, or Pure Minx today, hopefully round 2 of Pure Minx, and then the Now here is a montage of DT cubes in CA Cuber Solving, and after this I'm go I filmed my friend Naren's Pure Minx 9.01 PV average, so enjoy their solves. So the rest of this stuff is on day two, my last day of nationals, because I didn't go to day three. And also, a funny thing is, well, I didn't even get to meet Lewis in my shirt. So, for Pure Mings, I didn't record it, but that was my last average of the day that I did at around 6 o'clock yesterday. So, I got a pretty fail 6.95 average, and a pretty okay 5.30 single. Not talking about the rectory, this is on the second day, I did this, um towards the afternoon-ish. And what I did is um, I actually lost my GTS2M. Luckily, um, CA Cuber um, traded me a normal GTS2 for a CQ shop setup GTS2M, which I used. And I did pretty bad. I got a 20.9 average with a 19 single. The 19 single was pretty okay, but I was actually hoping for a sub 20.5 or a sub 20 average, but I didn't even get any of those. I did get a sub-20 single, but I was actually hoping for a sub-19 single, which is pretty bad for me, but I guess I can do better at 10 people. So I didn't do a round 2 of speed, even though I did make it on day 3, 
discipline. Um, yeah. The funny thing is that I did get the six point six six average. I didn't get a sub six single, which I was hoping for, but that is okay. Um, Medallions has still has a better single, single but okay. Christopher yeah. three. So I'm with my friend Noren. He's unboxing his GTS 2M, and I'm unboxing my um, MFBRS. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in um, in three by three, um, I got a 20.9 average, which is pretty trash. And then in, uh, yeah, I, I did for, I forgot the film hero. Oh yeah. yeah. I got like a magnetic box. Average. Why do you fall on me? Okay, fine. See yeah, magnetic box. Dun 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 dun. Like that. <laughs> What? Is that a 9 by 9 yeah, My friend GT2 says nice for her. Can I do first turns? Can I do first turns? Uh, first turns? No, you cannot do first turns, okay, Mr. GT2. I'm going to open my um, most three-ers. Okay, let's do first turns on the thing. Uh, whoa, this thing's so good. Uh -huh. Alright, oh sorry, that is my MFRS oh my box. Gosh. Ooh, this is pretty nice. It's pretty loose. Yeah, the red oh, this thing is good. Is this the yellow side is No, no not the box. I'm gonna be straight Red side is mine. Okay, go on the camera. Um, do first turn. Side. Yeah, it's not a first turn. No, white side. Or do some turn. Your first turn. Side is water no. No. Okay, this is... It's... Okay, what team are you for? Did you get? Wait. On two team are you for? Did you get a junk like everyone else? Yeah! Like everyone else? yeah. Everyone what gets happened? a Gianfranco. Oh. Okay, Step the tanks are really uneven. Um, this side's a little bit too tight, this side's a little bit too loose. But I'm going to lose Uh, no. Okay, this cube's good. Yeah. So I pretty like it as, not for I, that's not I like it as well, it's just kind of catchy. I definitely need to set it up. Oh, this wow. This cube is pretty good. Yeah. Corner cut's pretty nice, especially reverse. Look at that, look at that. This is $5 I want it for. Hey, you got it seven in the yeah. This is the stock one, not the cubicle one. Hey, yep. this competition. You wanted to get the stock one, not the cubicle one. Oh, yeah, because I'm awesome. Hammer? And I pay less for really better finals? cubes. No. What do you mean? The cubicle one is probably better. Sense? Yeah, but like, I like this one. I'm gonna put it in my gear bag. All right. So yeah, that was just a quick slow solve. So yeah, guys, I have Pyraminx round two next. I'm so hyped I made it to round two. Yep. He's gonna get eliminated. Yeah, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow for round three. Anyway. So yeah, guys, that was my U.S. Nationals 2017 vlog. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and if you made it to the end, comment 6.66 average, lol. So yeah, guys, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.